What's up, Gundam Kitchen family? Finally got one of the most anticipated gaming shipments of the year. We're going to start from uh, the Key Forge here. So the newest edition of Key Forge, and what they did that was smart this time, is to help individual players get into the game. They actually offered a one-player starter box instead of just a two-player they have been offering. So one player has everything you need to get started, has the new tokens and everything. If you and a friend are going in, you get the two-player. I think you get like four decks in here. And you get all the tokens and everything you need and instructions. And then, of course, booster box. Then we got Marvel Champion. So, Asmodee's doing it big with Marvel. They got that uh, Marvel connection. So, this is a card game, cooperative card game, which is kind of cool. So, being all competitive, you can work with your uh, friend to defeat the villains using uh, your favorite heroes. So, they will be coming out with booster packs for this, adding more and more heroes. So look out for that. And recently we just got the uh, Clone War stuff for uh, Legion. So they added more characters to that. And the new Funkoverse game. So here's your uh, core games and some expansions. So obviously the DC one's an easy connection with that. With the DC Universe one, you got the Harry Potter I have to double check, but I think these can be played against each other too. So you could have like the DC universe versus the Harry Potter universe, as far as I know. But they come with the map and everything. And even these smaller ones look like they come with a uh, very much like Crossmasters did. They uh, You can play it on this little board too. So you can face it off. So that looks pretty cool. But what we've really been waiting for is Marvel Crisis. The first Marvel miniatures game in a while, at least skirmish style. You've had Hero Clicks. You've had that one by Knights Models that uh, when Disney bought Marvel, they pulled. So now you got a new Marvel game, and they are full steam. They've already got about six more character releases up and ready. And this is wide open. I think we're going to see so many variants of Iron Man suits, Spider-Man, all kinds of variants. And they better get to the mutants. That's all I'm talking about. But this is the first wave right here. You got uh, Hulk and Mortok. And then you got the starter set. So let's see what's in the box. Unfortunately, these were very highly allocated. So on the first wave, I wasn't able to get a lot. I do have what looks like two extras left. So these go on sale tomorrow on the 15th. So I would suggest coming by and grab them. I took a lot of pre-orders, um, but only two extras are left. So right here, you can already see your character lineup in the box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten characters. Interestingly enough, you need ten people for a roster, so that's why they did that. And it's actually a heroes game, so even your villains can be on the heroes team. So, and just like in the comic books, everyone saw villains do match up with uh, heroes and help them out. But let's see what's in here. So, instruction book. Definitely not the huskiest instruction book, which is a good thing. Get right into playing this game. I've read through most of it already because I had the PDF print out. Um, so what we're looking at is about 20... 26 pages of rules. Yep, 26 pages of rules, and we get into the characters. So, and this is actually just like some of the fluff, which I would think everybody already knows. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I don't think we need fluff. I like to know what, you know, how to use them better. But a bunch of pages of the different characters. Um, so then, you know, collect, build, play, paint. So it's going to be kind of a whole hobby side of it, too. And I think that's going to be another thing. You might not even like to play miniature games, but you get to paint superheroes. And they're a pretty good size. We'll see that in a second. All right. And then we have how to assemble them. So that's, you know, each character has assembly guide, which is nice because a lot of games, they, you have to go online to look up how to assemble stuff. And this doesn't look too bad. Not too many pieces. Nine steps. Four steps for Red Skull. So very nice. I like that. Four steps for Spider-Man. 
Doc Ock is nine steps, so these aren't too complex. Look like they go pretty well together. Square pegs, so you can't really make any mistakes. Liking that so far. And comes with terrain. So not too many games come with some terrain right off the box. It's not paper or cardboard terrain. Here's our character cards. Some of these are kind of hard to find online beforehand, but now we get to look at them real quick. Baron. And these all have two sides. So you take, he can take up to, I believe, five hits is his health. He gets to five. Even if you do seven damage to him, he can only go into five and then you flip him in the next turn. He starts at five again. Um, and some, some characters might have different abilities on their backside. I don't think he does, or some of his stats might change. But from what I could tell, a lot of them do stay the same. So check out Captain America. I mean, being Cap, he's, he's a main hero. Five health, you flip him over, six health. So he does change on the back side. And it looks like he gains an extra ability too. Uh, I can do this all day, his extra ability looks like. Yep. So he gains his ability. When I defend any against attacks, this character adds blanks in its defense roll to its total success. So what would be nothings become successes. So that's going to make him really strong. So Captain America on his backside, he's going to be hard to beat. Let's see. Um, Captain Marvel stays pretty much the same, but she's a beast. Uh, crossbones. So he actually gets a little weaker on his back side. He went from six to five. Okay. I'm wondering if maybe cost of um, doing things go down too. Another interesting thing about this game to help a uh, balancing mechanism is every time you get attacked and take damage, you actually get um, powers and you need powers to pay for your uh, more expensive or harder to do superpower. So as you can see here, this power costs three. Uh, this ability costs three. So every time you take damage, you gain power and you can do it. And I think every round you also get an extra one. So pretty nice. Uh, Doc Oct is also like um, Captain America. He goes from five to six. So there's another one that gains strength or gains health. You have Iron Man here. Looks like most of it's the same, but oh, he gains uh, this one, Unibeam. So now uh, this attack ignores line of sight, and defending characters does not benefit from cover. So I think it's basically like a laser beam that can shoot through stuff. Um, costs four, but does a hell of a lot of damage. So yeah, this is looking interesting. Red Skull's pretty solid on both sides. What's Spidey got going on here? Don't see any obvious changes. It's interesting. I'm not sure which uh, Spider-Man this is, but he has taser webs. Uh, now it's not the old school Spider-Man I know, but that's interesting. And we got Ultron here. What's he got? Looks some up. Oh, he goes from six to five. He actually gets weaker on his backside. Uh, looks like all his abilities are the same. But that's going to be all to study as we go on. Tons of tokens, super token heavy. So I think you're going to need a starter unless they sell these separately. All right, first baggie here is terrain. So it looks like this is probably one of the buildings and maybe some lampposts or something like that. Some street lights. These spaces are really nice. You don't see these in starter sets where they give you some nice detailed bases like this. So definitely the starter is a huge value because all the boosters are about 
25 to 35 dollars from what I can see. I think actually they might all be about 35 dollars. Some will be one character like the Hulk who is huge and then others you'll get uh, two characters in there. So I know like the next one is a uh, Black Panther and uh, uh, Warmonger or whatever his name was. Whoever's enemy he was in the movie. Things. Yeah. Killmonger. Uh, good old day. Good old asthma day. Fantasy flight style dice with uh, hits and stuff like that on there. I believe these are eight side dice. So that's pretty typical if you ever played a fantasy flight game. And here's the character. So let's see what we got. Yeah, nice plastic. And this leg. <laughs> it's huge already. So let me see if I have a Space Marine near me. So here's a Space Marine. And look at the size of this leg. It's up to his rib cage. So these guys are going to be a lot bigger than uh, what we're used to seeing. The detail looks pretty good. Now this must be um, Black Widow right there. Yeah, this is going to be fun to paint. What else we got in here? So some more buildings. Uh, this is probably Ultron and his base. So he's standing on that rock. So I like how they actually give you some train details too, which I mean it's kind of necessary since they're all fixed posed. Here's one of the vehicles. I don't know what the rest of it is, but here's some tires and the chassis. And we got uh, another character, a couple characters there. Is there stuff on the side here? There is. There's the rest of the cars. So the cars are a nice size. And they're kind of the size I expect them to be. So I think, you know, when you go to Walgreen, they have those die cast cars that are like 5 or $6. They might be a good idea to use for these. And uh, then you don't have to paint them. <laughs> so that'll save you some time. And our good old connecting things. Much like Legion, you have the uh, multi-connection uh, type of thing. So you can bend them for your uh, walking distance, small, medium, and long, I guess. That's how they go, and then you have range markers for shooting. A lot of people I've seen on reviews are painting these up real nice and like beam effects and stuff like that. So five is the largest, and that's a pretty good distance. That's probably about 10 inches, I'm guessing. Yeah, it looks about 10 inches. And then our cards. So these are, I believe, are called crisis cards. A couple of those. Now, being part of Asthma Day, they're going on that X-Wing type of thing where when you buy a uh, a booster like Hulk, it's going to come with its own card. So it'll have team tactic cards and crisis cards. So if you want to play competitively, it's going to be one of those things you got to collect them all. But if you're just playing for fun, collect what you want. And these are team-up abilities, I believe. Really nice art. Great comic book art. It looks like most of the stuff we're getting first is coming directly from um, the MCU uh, Marvel movies. Um, though Punisher is on one of these, so that's interesting. And we have Venom. Venom is actually one of the next releases, so there you go. I guess it's not just Marvel Studios. And so this is a team up. This is uh, affiliation cards. And then this is your, like, uh, where you deploy from. So. Excited about this. I'm actually going to show you guys today one of the guys is going to let me build his Iron Man. And uh, I tested this on a Space Marine, a candy coat that you can uh, hand brush on. And guess what it uses? You have to tune in later to find out, but it's something you already have probably or you've heard about. And for you Gundam guys, this technique works in the airbrush too. So and I found it a lot easier than uh, some of the other stuff I played with when I try to do candy coats. So it'll even help you guys out too. All right, talk to you later. Look out for that video.